Hello and welcome to this Map Pro 5 screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. Okay, so uh, in Map Pro 5.5, you we use uh, MySQL 5.7. Uh, that's the only version of uh, MySQL we use. If you uh, upgrade pre from previous versions, you'll automatically your MySQL will be automatically upgraded. Um, the password for the root user of uh, MySQL, the MySQL database, is root. Uh, when the um, uh, when the uh, servers are not running, you can change the password. I would recommend doing that to something other than root, which we have uh, set that by default. Um, this you generally won't need. Just leave allow network access to uh, MySQL off. If um, that way, it, if it's off, it's using a socket file. If, if you, uh, most likely that's all you'll need. Um, if you need to know this socket file is located in um, applications map temp MySQL. And when um, the uh, servers are running, here they are off, you will see no socket file, but when they are running, you will see this socket file. Most likely, um, this is the setting uh, you will only need and I'm not going to get into network protocols for um, MySQL, but if that's an advanced feature, if you want to use it, you can click this and allow access from only this Mac or from other computers as well. Um, down here is our three administration tools, uh, one I don't have um, installed right now, but um, I'm only going to go over PHP MyAdmin in the screencast. You can just as well use SQL Pro or MySQL Workbench if you're comfortable with that to administer um, MySQL. Um, there's nothing special about these. You can use either one. One's web-based, and these are these are not web-based. I'm going to um, I'll click here on PHP MyAdmin, and this is just a web-based database administrator where you can add and um, at databases or uh, change um, the content of your databases if if you wish to. This um, PHP MyAdmin, the actual f files for PHP MyAdmin are located here in Library Application Support Absolute Map Pro PHP MyAdmin. If you're having issues with this, this is um, where you can look, and, and this is where the actual uh, PHP man, my admin is located. Inside of here uh, is uh, where your username and password is to access um, your MySQL database. I'll show you that in a second um, uh, by changing the password, and you can see the resulting uh, results in this config.inc.php. Uh, before I get to that, I just want to say, or I just want to add where the database, your database data is located. It's located in library application support, absolute map pro DB. Under this, there's a subdirectory called MySQL 5.7, which we have made. 5.7 stands for MySQL 5.7. You may have multiple folders in here. If you had Previously, MAMP Pro 4 installed, you would have a MySQL 5.6. And if you came from three, uh, MAMP Pro 3 to 4 to 5, you'd have also a MySQL folder here. And these are just your old, that's your old data in MySQL 5.5 and 5.6 format. Um, in here, I, I won't get into details of what, what uh, how MySQL is set up, but you can see here each additional Table. If I had tables in here, there'd be a subfolder um, for each additional um, or database that I made. And your data data is actually located here in the IB um, data file. But um, I am not going to get into the details of how MySQL uh, stores its data. 
As I said earlier, um, I was going to change my password, so I've uh, turned off my servers here, and I am going to change the password of my uh, root user um, from the default of root to new. Not the greatest password, but um, I just want to show you how that is changed in the um, config.inc.php uh, file which I had stated earlier is here in uh, under map pro PHP my admin library application support absolute and pro PHP my admin um, if I go in here and open um, text wrangler and uh, just do a oops do a search on password oh I'm already down here in the file I opened this previously so here's my new password new so now PHP my admin can access um, uh, MySQL with my new password. Up in the tools menu, you can run these um, MySQL scripts that MAMP will run for you, uh, verify, repair, and upgrade. Um, if you uh, had uh, upgraded from AMP Pro 4, you automatically ran this from, and this upgraded your data from 5.6 to 5.7. But you can run these um, scripts, and this is just verify, and um, it looks like everything's okay. Um, down here, your if you have any issues, the first with MySQL not starting, first uh, thing is check your uh, check your MySQL error log and look for any uh, errors in there. Um, you can customize your um, MySQL by uh, going and editing a template. You would go in here and to file edit template, MySQL, my, which is gonna edit uh, your MyCNF file. Now this is the template file um, and you can make uh, additions here uh, to customize your MySQL as you need to. If you do make a change, I'm going to just change it here just as so the actual file has changed. Um, you will have to restart your servers in order for you to see the changes. Your changes that you made in the template file are going to show up in the real mycnf.cnf file when your servers are started. So uh, it's important to remember you cannot directly uh, change your my.cnf file. I'll show you what I mean right now. Um, this is changing the template file. And when I go in here, I can make changes to the template file, which gets saved in, now that I made changes, uh, this is saved in user's username library application support absolute map pro templates and you see that i have a my uh 57.cnf.template file this template file is used to build the real my.cnf file so when i go in here notice i'm going to stop my servers and i'm going to start them again and that template file is used to create the real my.cnf file which is located here in Applications map temp MySQL. Notice the timestamp here of 10:40 a.m. and it's 10:40 a.m. That was just created. You can't, so you can't directly make any changes to this file. All changes you want to make to customize your MySQL have to be uh, done through the template file. And that's going to do it for MySQL and PHP MyAdmin.